Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Holy f Okay, so I'm here with the Kawaii ES920, which is the new keyboard that I just got. It's around $1,500. Anyways, here's the box, okay? We're gonna do a full unboxing video today, plus review, okay? And afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys my first improvisation on this new keyboard. So this is 25 kilograms, which is around 52 pounds, okay? Ooh. I'm really excited because Kawaii keyboards are top of the class. I would say they're even better than Yamaha, although Yamaha is more well known, but Kawaii puts in more effort into their keyboard actions. Let's see here, there's a, all right, this is the, this is the manual and the power cord, okay? And then, here we go, this is the, ooh, nice keyboard stand, and it's even transparent. It's gonna look really good. This is, I guess, another power cord. And what's this? So, if you guys don't know, uh, you know, keyboards usually come with a pedal. And if they don't, then you can always get a generic one off of Amazon. So this one is just one pedal. It's a sustain pedal. It's the most important function on the piano because the other two pedals, the una corda and sostenuto pedals, uh, we don't really use that much, you know? Here we go. It's time for the main event. First opening, the first opening of <gasps> oh my god, look at her. She's gorgeous. Let me get really close. <sighs> that sounds so good. It's much lighter compared to my MP11 SC, so I could probably lift this easily. <sighs> Put it right here. Alright, let's move everything out of the way. So yeah, this is really nice. And I like how there is space to put some stuff if you need to. And then we're gonna put this guy on. Look, it's beautiful. We're gonna connect this pedal, okay? Okay, damper. We just have to connect the power supply. Kawaii pianos generally have the Shigeru uh, SKEX grand piano sound. So it's a really fantastic grand piano and they modeled it really well. So I think it's top of the line. It's even better than Yamaha's. It's definitely better than Roland, Williams, Cork, or any of those other brands. So connect this to the back. Just to the power cord. Obviously, uh, you have to buy a bench separately, but these are pretty cheap. So let's hear how it sounds, okay? We're on the piano one. This is the regular setting. The keys feel so nice. Like, I love the feeling of a new keyboard. All right, let's hear how it sounds. Oh, <laughs> no volume. Turn up. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Holy crap. I'm blown away right now because I mean, I saw these speakers and they're, you know, they're really nice and big. The sound quality is far more than what I expected from an onboard keyboard speaker, okay? It's, this is not a typical sound. So the keyboard action itself is a little weird for my taste because um, I'm used to playing on the Kawhi MP11 SE as well as my Yamaha Grand Piano over there. Those have wooden keys. This keyboard is plastic, okay? And that's why it's about $1,000 less. I would say it's definitely one of the better plastic keyboard actions. There is a good amount of give to it. You know? 
But yeah, it's definitely not perfect, okay? And when I was playing earlier, I felt like my hands were slipping quite a bit. Let's just check out some of the other sounds. Piano 2. It's a little bit more bright, a little bit less heavy of a sound than the original grand piano. And then we have the E piano. I guess it's for more like jazz or for rock or blues. There's organ. That is a weird ass organ sound. That is definitely the weirdest organ sound I've ever heard. Oh, but there are multiple organs. This is a ballad organ apparently. There we go, this is the organ sound. Just my favorite organ piece, obviously. A harpsichord. Oh, this is my favorite piece to play if you're using a harpsichord. I love that piece. And then, of course, strings. feel like Beethoven when you're playing this. And then the bass sound. There's a recording function here, which I don't think I'll ever use. I record everything connected directly to the computer. But yeah, you can record here. See how it sounds. Yeah, it works. <laughs> That's good. And uh, of course, there's a metronome. Yeah. Use the metronome to practice, guys. If you're stuck on a piece, use the metronome, okay? It's gonna help you out. You know, overall, it's definitely a, a high quality, top of the class keyboard. I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm not gonna promote them. <laughs> Alright, so here's my first improvisation on the new keyboard so that you guys can get a sense of how the piano sounds like on this keyboard. <laughs> 